Hi there and welcome into this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching how to create an enemy health widget that can be updating just like as you see right now. Uh, and of course, it's going to be uh, fixing the rotation to our player. Just like that. If I go closer to our character, our enemy is going to be updating. It's going to be increasing the widget. And if I go further away, it's going to be smaller and smaller. And as you can see, is being updated right now. There is an event uh, to apply damage uh, each, I think, uh, half a second or something like that, just to demonstrate that it's able to update the widget itself. And yeah, that's basically it. The project that I am using right now has a health bar for the player that I have made in a previous video. So if you want to learn how to do this, you can go back in that video. Uh, the reason that I'm using the same project is because I am also created a bar this time, but this time of course it is for our enemies, for NPCs and so on. Uh, so I'm not going to be using this widget, I'm going to be making from scratch, so that you can see it from the start. So here I am going into a user widget, a user interface, and then I'm going to get widget blueprint. This is going to be a user widget, and let's just name it. UI underscore enemy uh, health bar. I'm using for the enemy, but you could use this for, let's say, uh, another non playable character as well. Now let's open this up. Over here, I'm going to search for canvas and I'm going to drag this canvas panel. Then I'm going to search for progress bar. Same thing, drag into our canvas panel. Then I'm going to just drag this around. Tilt the center, something like that. Increase the size of this a bit. Something like this should be good enough. The anchor is going to be for the middle. Uh, let's just rename this for help. Progress bar, like that. And the color, I am going to be changing something like red. Something like this should be good. And as you can see, this progress bar, I can fill it as much as you want, but of course, this is going to be updated on the game itself. For now, just leave it like that, compile it, save it. So, uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be creating an enemy. So, right click over here, get to blueprint class, let's select that down. This is going to be our BP underscore enemy. Open this up. Over here into components, I'm going to get our wish. And I'm going to replace this which over here. Also get a skeletal mesh. Just for presentation, get this into our default and root and the which into our skeletal mesh. This skeletal mesh, I'm going to just select anything over here just for this demonstration. Just rotate this around like that. Yeah. And the widget, I am going a little bit down over here into widget class. I'm going to be selecting the widget that I have just created. That's going to be our Y underscore enemy health bar. Just select that one. Let's place it a bit up over here. Rotate a bit. Oops, so the widget itself, rotate a bit. And right now, yeah, I think it's too big. I'm going to scale it down a bit. Let's say 0 0.4, 0. 0.4 and then 0.4. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Now a little bit down over here. Yeah, something like that should be good. Now compile it, save it. Uh, now I need to be able to update this widget for that here in our enemy. I am going to create a new variable. That's going to be our health. This is going to be a float. Actually, it's going to be our current health like that compile it by default i'm going to be making 100 and let's say in the event of any damage let's just get any damage event and damage in this case i'm going to get our current health and then i'm going to be setting our current health as well get set get a minus from this subtract then subtract the damage that our npc could have received place this as our new current health, like that. And I'm going to be creating an event in our widget to update that as well. So let's go into our widget, let's go into graph. Over here, I'm going to be creating a function that is update health bar. 
In this, I am going to have an input. That's going to be our, let's say, health. This is going to be a float. And then I am going to get our health progress bar. And I'm going to get this to set percent. Just make sure that your health progress bar it is a variable. So that you are able to change it over here. Just place it like that. And then here. And from our current health, I am going to be dividing this by 100 and placing it over here. Compile it, save it. Now over here into our BP enemy, I am going to be getting this enemy health bar. Ah, here in our BP enemy, now I'm going to get our reach and I'm going to cast to Y. Uh, actually, just getting over here, cast to Y enemy health bar like that place this into here like so then i am going to get the event update health bar and the new health is going to be our current health like that yeah that should be good compile this uh there's going to be a error over there let's see ah uh, yeah i just forgot to get a widget from this so instead of this widget i'm going to just get widget and place this value into our case like that now should be good let's compile it save it and yeah so in the event of any damage it's going to be update our health bar um by default i think i'm going to be leaving at 100 so that i'm able to see this on our game compile it uh i have a mesh yes i have a mesh i have this switch over here but right now i am not able to see it because yeah it's down there i'm going to just rotate this a bit i'm going to be the new of the rotation just let me see this for testing so if i go here third person i have still to add this npc into our game edit over here yeah i'm able to see his health bar i think one thing, I think this color is not quite like I wanted. I think something like this, a little bit more vivid, maybe like that. Yeah, that should be better. Now here in our BP enemy. So to fix the rotation, there's one thing that I need to do, but first I need to test our event any damage. So for that, let's just get the damage. Uh, actually, I think it was let me see it is the event apply damage this one over here so in the event tick i'm going to be applying damage i think let's just get a small delay yeah so get a delay of let's say every half second is going to be applying damage damage actor is going to be a self just for testing and let's say three points of damage and yeah that should be good. So this event should trigger this one over here. Let's see this. Yeah, as you can see, he is losing health. Our character is losing health as well because I have placed the same thing for the bug in our character too. So, but as you can see, it is updating the witch. Right now, the problem is the rotation because I'm not able to see our the rotation of the witch uh, when I go down on when I go back into our planet PC. So for that. Uh, let's just fix this right here first. So this is the boot damage, and this is update health and wind show bubble. The next thing that we're going to be doing is to let's say from here. I think I'm going to be placing this in the event tick. So right now I know this is working, so instead I think I'm going to be deleting this comment and I'm going to be deleting this as well because I know it is working. And here in the event tick, I'm going to first get player camera manager. Then from this I am going to get word location. And then from this I am going to get find look at rotation. This is not going to be the start, it's actually going to be the target. And the start is going to be, I think I'm going to be getting the widget over here. And I am going to get word location. Same thing, place this as the start this time. 
let's just delete these events I'm not going to be using our event tick over here and then I'm going to be setting the rotation to get the widget again set word rotation get this as the return value and then place this as the event tick so now it should be working fine compile it, save it uh, this is going to be our date widget rotation uh, a double a -ola there, show bubble, and yeah. Now compile everything. Let's see this. Save this. Let's see now on game. And as you can see, it is updating just like I wanted. If I go a little bit further away, it's going to be decreasing it, but the rotation is fine and it's able to update the witch as well. So that's basically it. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope this helps you create more enemies in your game. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll into this course to get all sorts of files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.